Welcome back to Night Vision. We have a very special guest here in our studio tonight. We're now joined by Mr. Mark Soffer, the Ambassador of Israel to India and the non-resident ambassador to Sri Lanka. Thank you, sir, very much for coming in. It's a first pleasure. things first, let's know what you're doing here in Chennai. Well, uh, myself and yes. the delegation with me, we are here to work and help uh, in the cooperation between Israel and Tamil Nadu on the major issues that are facing both us and Tamil Nadu, and what I mean mainly more than anything else is agriculture and water issues. Uh, the issue of agriculture, we have a, a rather large delegation from Tamil Nadu that will be ar arriving in Israel in a month or two. Uh, we have an expert, one of the world's experts in mango productivity, mango growing from Israel, who will be arriving here in about three weeks. Uh, and we also are working very avidly and very strongly in the whole field of desalination uh, and water management and water uh, productivity, mainly creation of new water sources, which is so crucial for Israel and so crucial, of course, for Tamil Nadu. Right. We have a big issue, of course, with water here. It's a huge problem and the government is, has been looking at the desalination plants. Yes. Uh, so uh, how far is this down the road? Well, the des we already have uh, Israel, one Israeli company, the most important Israeli company, already has one desalination plant, and it worked very, very well indeed with the Tamil Nadu government. They are now participating in a large, huge tender, about 50 kilometers mm -hmm. outside of Chennai, uh, um, for our, which will create about 100 million cubic meters of water a, a day, which is a huge amount of water. Uh, it's called Israel Desalination Engineering. It's a very, very highly sophisticated uh, desalination process developed in Israel, and it will be done here, hopefully, if they succeed in the tender, which I believe would be wonderful for both, yes. uh, would be the creation of water, also with an Indian company, I should say, with a Tamil Nadu company, will be creation of masses of water, sweet water, from the sea, at a, hopefully, uh, a, a affordable cost, which is actually the most important thing of all, is the price at the end of the day. We really could do with that, honestly, Rishi. Absolutely. Well, I think we are all suffering from water. We too are suffering from water shortage in Israel, and that is what it creates, necessity being the mother of invention, it creates uh, uh, new technologies. Yes, but Israel has done fantastic work in terms of managing their very uh, limited water resources. So hopefully all of that technology will get transferred to us here in Tamil Nadu. With, with absolutely no problem whatsoever, the pleasure, and actually much of it is, not only in Tamil Nadu but throughout India, mm -hmm. uh, drip irrigation systems, yes. uh, water management, water resources, creation of new sources, crucial, crucial for everyone in the world, but also crucial for Israel, especially crucial for Tamil Nadu uh, and India as a whole. All right, you also mentioned that you have, uh, you have plans of agricultural relations yes. with Tamil Nadu. Yes. Now, I'm coming to the irrigation side of the agriculture part of it. Now, desalination would perhaps take care of the drinking water uh, issues. For irrigation purposes, are you, are, is there any kind of exchange of technologies that's going to take place? Well, desalination can also, depending on the level that one purifies the water, can also help in the field of agriculture. All right. But to be honest, there are other issues as well, or other ways too, which we will be working with the uh, Tamil Nadu government, in, hopefully, in, in, in moving forward. And that is fields like uh, um, uh, wastewater management, right. usage of purification of wastewater, which doesn't have to be to the level of pure drinking water, but can be at a lower level for agriculture. Uh, questions really of drip irrigation systems, which we mentioned earlier, which are crucial. This is the, in the field of conservation of water. One doesn't need any more in today's world flood irrigation, switching on the hose at the beginning of the day and switching it off at the end. We cannot afford that because of the of the amount of water usage. In Israel, we have developed and we are the, the world's leaders in what's called drip irrigation, which is the injection. It doesn't have to be highly computerized, it can be, but the injection of a drop of water to the root of the plant, and that actually produces a better plant, a better, better produce, but most importantly, saves and conserves water. One drop, certain hours of the day, depending on the climate, depending on the crop, depending on the soil, and one can get exactly the same plant uh, as a complete flooded irrigation, exactly the same produce. This is Israeli uh, innovation which is throughout India and should and will be, uh, I am sure, uh, created here in Tamil Nadu. Well, a lot of success you have met also in semi-arid areas. Over here we have the, a plateau type of uh, uh, land in Tamil yes. Nadu, most parts of uh, northern and uh, western Tamil that. Nadu. So over there, there is always an eternal crisis of water, except for the monsoon. We may have to actually look up to the skies during monsoon to have our source of water. So how do we actually go about creating new resources for irrigation? Well, here, here really is a question more, because you mentioned the monsoon and the drought, uh, is often a question, and we find it very, very strongly in Israel, to a question of water management rather That's than a question, right. of water, of a question of water conservation. You have the, the great Swami Natan's Institute here in Chennai. Yeah. He is a man who we know very closely, actually, this, this one 
wonderful man, this great father of the Green Revolution in India, also has an honorary doctorate from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, which is my alma mater. But I should say that uh, uh, we are working very closely with him uh, on, on a, a specific workshop, an Indo-Israeli workshop, which will affect here Tamil Nadu as well through his institute on the question of water management. And here, I think, is a crucial part of uh, what is was it important for the agriculturalist as well as for the urban uh, water system. Right. I'd like to move into trade ties between India and Israel. The relationship doesn't go back that, that far back, really. So can we talk about that here? Yes, well, the, the, the actually, 16 it, years old, right? it's 16 and a half years old only, our relationship, a diplomatic relationship between uh, Israel and India. Of course, the Jewish-Hindu relationship, these two great civilizations, which have done so much for mankind, uh, have, goes back many, many more, thousands of years yes. in the Jewish community here in India, which has lived uh, in perfect harmony and wonder uh, with, with, the, with, the, with their uh, Indian, Hindu, Muslim neighbors uh, throughout India, of course, goes back earlier. But the Israeli-Indian relationship is only 16 and a half uh, years old. Oh. And in that period of time, our trade relations have grown from a pure 150 million in 1993 to about 4.2 billion today. I, I do believe this metamorphosis is, 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 is almost unheard of among it's other a states. a huge amount, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah. But it's also there's enormous investment going on between Israel and India, uh, Israeli firms investing here in India, including in Tamil Nadu, including in the field of real estate, which are some of our biggest uh, industrial concerns, are here as we talk uh, in Chennai and elsewhere throughout Tamil Nadu. But also, Indian investment in Israel is going ahead very well uh, in fields of irrigation, in fields of pharmaceuticals. Uh, we are very happy at the economic relationship. Right. What about the la fairly large Indian community of Indian Jews who actually moved away to Israel? I mean, tell us about them. Well, we, we all, the Indian Jews have such a make such a contribution uh, to Israeli society that, mm -hmm. you know, we are, I must say, we are overjoyed to have them. They are the sweetest, loveliest, and most generous and hardworking of, of, of the people that we have. Uh, we have about 100,000, about one lakh uh, Indian Jews living in Israel today, mainly from the uh, Mumbai, Cochin, right. uh, Calcutta areas. Uh, there are only 5,000 Jews left in, in India today, more or less. But what is important to mention, and, and I say this at every occasion, there has never been one single anti-Semitic incident in the history of the Jewish people of India. In fact, when one speaks to Indians, they don't even, they hardly know the meaning of the word anti-Semitism. For us, this is an amazing, it's, it's a splendor, it's a wonder, mm -hmm. because the Jewish people has known so much anti-Semitism throughout the world and throughout its history, and here in India, an unknown concept. And I think that's one of the reasons why they are so easygoing, the, the, the Jews that we have, because they've always lived so well among the society, and such a lot of tolerance here. Mm -hmm. So yes, we do have that community. The community here is very small now, left but has made its contribution to uh, Indian society, I believe. What, what about the community there? How well, they, they are doing very well in small businesses, sometimes mm -hmm. bigger in the, uh, in the fields of uh, uh, the, the free professions, lawyers, doctors, um, um, uh, professors, things of that, um, uh, professions of that nature. Here we are especially proud of some of the great Indian Jews who have made it to the top, like General Jacob, mm -hmm. the hero of the uh, yes. Bangladesh War, yes, um, right. very well known. Uh, but he's not the only one, Nisim Ezekiel, uh, the famous uh, poet. Yeah. So we are, we, we are very proud of our relationship. We are very proud of the, of the contribution that the Indian Jews are now making uh, to Israel. And as a matter of fact, we're very proud and happy at the Indian-Israeli relationship as a whole. Right. Well, uh, so we're going to ask you to just hold on, don't go anywhere, because no. we're going to take a very, very Later. short break, and we'll be right back. <laughs>